welcome back to these video tutorials on the World Domination Custom Cabinetry app. This will be released as a template available to custom cabinet makers to be able to manage their custom cabinet manufacturing business. In this video we're going to cover companies. So you see here in the navigation on the left for the World Domination Custom Cabinetry app you have companies. And right now I am on the sales pipeline view. There's multiple views here. In each one of these I go through, I'll try to show you some of the features of Notion, the engine that runs it. So we've got three views. We've got an all table view, an active table view, and then a sales pipeline board view. And in the all table view, these are all of the companies. And most of these are fictitious. Some of them are companies I used to work for. Most of them are made up as you can tell by the names. But we put in a company name and then we link contacts and that's the next database we'll cover. Then we link to projects as we start building out projects and then we have all the details about this company. So where they're at in this pipeline status or sales pipeline status and where they came from. Lead source. Was it a site visit? Somebody reached out to them. Is it a Facebook thing or a social media thing from a letter, a postcard? How did they come to know us? And then there's a next step option. And you can add anything you want here, take anything out you want to here, but kind of a reminder to yourself of what to do next to try to recruit them into being a customer. And then there's typical contact information, phone, email, address, city, state, zip. You can also go into any company by simply floating over it and you see the little open button opens up as we float over it so if we opened this one then you can just scroll down looking at just the details about this company not having to scroll side to side scrolling up and down is a little bit easier so there's all the details about this company but the primary feature of companies that is not self-evident would be the sales pipeline and having been a part of the cabinet community for most of my adult life either as a supplier to the industry or actually a custom cabinet manufacturer myself for 23 years and sometime during that tenure as a custom cabinet manufacturer I also was a supplier to the industry either with software or trainings or consulting and different avenues but you see here the objective being to try to win a company or get a company from not knowing who we are. So these are just words and you can make them anything you want them to be. So we've got suspect, not aware, prospect, aware, qualified, and qualified means they have a need for cabinetry, and then a customer. And then there's another column over here called disqualified, people that we have attempted to recruit and either they are not interested and maybe we do want to keep them around. You might want to delete them, but you might want to keep them around think maybe I'll follow up a year from now, something like that. And you can have as many of these columns as you want. You just come over here to the right side and add a new column and give it a name and it'll become one of the fields in the cards. And the objective being to keep this in front of you, checking this frequently, coming to the company's database frequently, looking at this and saying, I want to move this company, Dan Willis Remodeling. First thing I want to do is make him aware of us. So I'm either going to go visit him or send him a postcard or send him a color brochure or go to a project that he's at and try to find him or leave something there, a business card, something for him. Then once I've made somebody aware of me, then the next thing I want to do is find if they have a need. And once we determine, so for a builder, typically, they do have a need. They may come straight from here to here because obviously they have a need. Now they may not need your cabinets but they need cabinets. Typically if it's an individual they're going to start right here because you found out they're either building a house or remodeling a house so you already know they have a need. But wherever they need to start these are typically builders or architects or people you want to target and then you're trying to move them across. Homeowners that are remodeling typically by the time you find out you already know they have a need and so they would go in here and then you're trying to work them from being having a need to being a customer of yours working through your steps and your processes. So that's the primary objective of this particular database is to store your company's information, the companies you want to work for or the companies you are working for and link them to the contacts that work for those companies or are related to those companies in some way. So you might have a designer or an architect that works with a company and you might relate them and you see that here when we're in the company we have the ability to link that company to contacts and obviously projects as well and we'll see more about that when we get to the projects database. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.